was the one you said you didn't want no more. I was the one you said you hoped didn't make it. I was the one you said you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. No problem. I'm glad, glad to be here. This is your first time rocking with Troy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's a long time coming, but finally. Finally. For sure. Better late than never. But you can come again. Whoa. I'm kicking you out already. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> See, I mess, I'm just messing with people. They turn all the way crazy. Let me so just go. say, I love you, Lady Hip Hop. I love Aww. you. I almost called you by your girlfriend's name. I love you too. They inspired me. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard that live on here? I heard that little love connection? No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not how we were real. Can we dig in archives and like, keep, keep this? Can I use it as a drop? Oh, you're trying to say that. Yeah, that's That would be smart. Yeah. Once, since you're recording it all. Might as well. <laughs> totally. You just wanted to get that on the way. Yeah. I see what you did there, my friend. Yeah. It's all good. So, you know, for those who are not familiar with what you do in your movement, just give them a quick little introduction. Uh, my name is Andrew uh, Davis. I'm an artist from Houston, Texas. I'm about the aspiring me. <coughs> uh, I've been doing music for as long as I can remember. Uh, moved to New York for a little while. Came back. Still doing music. Put out my first album in 2013 called The Aspiring Me. Lead song, Young Bobby Mushido, which was the song that played earlier. Um, gave off some amazing vibrations. I have a video for that up on YouTube, and I have a second album getting ready to come out. All right, I'm excited about all that. So let's uh, go back. So you mentioned that you went to New York. Was the move to New York for music? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It, it was. Uh, it was like a time to just like you know like uh, go, or else I would probably would have never gone. I was working at Whole Foods, and then I applied for like a supervisor job out there, and mess around and got it. <laughs> <laughs> and so like I went out there and then uh um I was working with this uh well not was I worked with this collective called Vapor Trails based out of uh, Brooklyn and uh we used to have this thing we did called rap school every Sunday and we just built on, on that and uh that's why I sharpened like a lot of skills and stuff out there and uh that's why I built and started like building a lot, a lot of relationships from mm -hmm. and brought all of that experience with me back down here. So I'm just ready to, you know, get it, get it moving and do something else. Okay, so you're back home in Houston, because that's where you're from, born and raised. Are you here to stay or are you going to make another move? No, I'm not here to stay. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. We got dreams yeah. and goals. Yeah. I'm, so where's the next? I'm on a mission. The next is LA. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So that sounds like a, that's a nice little triangle. Houston, yeah. New York, LA, and then bring after it that back is around. Atlanta. After that is Atlanta, so now well, it is yeah. a square. But I don't know if I want to go to Atlanta <laughs> first or go to LA first. But I'm hmm. trying to do like three of three to like six month stints in like each one. And, you know, just, and just make your mark. Yeah, the the country is a big place and the world is an even bigger place. And yes. I encourage everybody to get up and, you know, go view it and experience Definitely. it. Definitely. Okay, and music is just something you were like you were literally born into. Yeah. You wanna talk about that? Uh, yeah, we can. I'm okay. a, my my dad was a uh, my dad was a rapper from Houston, my name was Big Mello. Uh, put out his first two albums on Rap A Lot Records, uh, Bone Heart Zagging in 1992 and We Don't Fun With Your Mind in 1994. So Mike Dean's first production work on, on there. Um, so like I, I grew, up, grew up in like rap music and stuff. And then uh, he passed away in 2002 due to an unfortunate accident that uh, I'm, I'm really grateful that I'm still here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I, I was born born into rap, and contrary to popular belief, you know, like uh, what what they say about you know like households back then, as far as like divided households, our, our household was very much you know like it was me, my little brother, my dad, my mom until the day he passed away. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you always had that influence right there with you. Right at home, I used to walk in the walk in the uh, walk in walk in the house, and my dad would be chilling writing raps. And like, oh, no. that's dope. Yeah. So how much did his sound influence yours? Uh, at, uh, a, a lot, uh, a lot. He's my biggest inspiration. Obviously, I, I, I can't even front. He, he's my biggest inspiration, and uh, also like kind of like my, kind of like my dividing line, because you know, being being born into like a lineage, you know, like some so many people just expect you to be like one way or expect stuff to sound the type of way that it kind of makes you just like want to like rebel and like. Just like distance yourself from that. Different. So like that's why I don't really talk about it a lot. But I would love to talk about it anytime. But uh, I just don't talk about it a lot because people just feel the need to to like place you somewhere. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's not even necessary. <laughs> yeah. No, no artist wants so to put really restraints on right. themselves at all. 
So um, from there, so when you first started doing music, was it really just for sport, for fun, or was it always serious from day one? Man, uh, I always knew that this is what I wanted to do. Um, uh, it's like, I'm, I'm not going to say one of the few things that I was good at, because I'm good at a lot of stuff. I'm you know, good at like law, good at computers, good at science, all, all types of crazy stuff. But um, this was like the one thing that I knew for sure that couldn't nobody tell me about. Hmm. You know, like, like, I don't take advice when it comes to this. <laughs> I don't, because I was, I you know, like I was, you know, I was born into it. So, you know, I, 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 I breathe it and I, and, and I embody it and, and I, I really like to take advice from it. So this is the one for sure thing that I, I knew that like I could, I could bend and make whatever I wanted to make. And I'm the type of person that likes to have, you know, like that free will to, you know, make something into whatever I, I like. Okay, definitely. So how, um, with your first project, because I'm, uh, I'm not too familiar with it, is there anybody you worked with on it? Any features? Um, any notable producers? I grew up with these guys, uh, Byron Evans, uh, Be Easy, and uh, Flack of Woods. Uh, Flack of Woods. Airborne. 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 We're from the same little Broadway town. Oh, shout out OBB, Original Brick Balls. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Ball. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> he was ready. So I'm thinking about like 50 deep tonight just to like weird some people out. But <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, I uh, uh, grew up around them and like uh, we we kind of like tailored like the first project. Even though like they're only featured on, 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 on like one song, but we kind of like sat down and like tailored it. I was working with my bro A, a Select who uh, did this, who did my first EP, the Aspiring EP, which came out before the album. I was working with him. Um, I executive produced most of the album and uh i was i was dating this girl at the time by the name of lisa harris and uh she contributed great to it musically she's like a really dope like opera singer and stuff like oh, that yeah. so she can she contributed and like helped me get my vocals together and like put me through vocal training and stuff like that then i linked up with robert hodge who did the artwork nice. and uh everything record shout out hodge even though we don't really speak right now but uh i, I still love you bro uh, oh you got some white stuff Oh, but um, <laughs> uh, no, 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 I'm messing with you. I'm saying, no baby, they like, like they say, on, <laughs> they like, like they say on Madden when you like catch a pass and there's nobody in front of you, they like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but uh, that's hilarious, yeah. Um, so I worked with Hodge who, who helped me get my artwork together, my homie Philip Powell who helped me do the design for it. Uh, Mommy Gregory, Michael Carter, basically everything records. That that, that whole collective, everything okay. records. Uh, I I worked work with them to help put the visual aesthetic to it. I produced most of the tracks. My homie Charles Moon, who did Young Bobby Bushido. Uh, I met him out at Texas Tech. My homie Christian Skull, who has a track on there called No Worries. And we kept it really in house. We have a uh, artist collective called Family Here Eternally. Mm -hmm. That's kind of died down, but I'm getting ready to re re revitalize it because yeah. we gotta keep, okay. you know, we gotta keep OBB still alive. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. So, um, where can they get this first project? The first project is available on uh, Bandcamp, theaspiringme.bandcamp.com. But uh, if you if you just like Google, you know, like if you don't really just feel like I don't know, some people are weird. They don't like going to like links with like names and then dot something. So if you just want to go on Google and just Google the aspiring me, then it'll pop up. Man, it's, it's like one of the first things. You legit? That you passed the Google test. What? Yo, so I'm you, like, I'm like, I'm like five or six pages deep on Google. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, like you can, you can, you know what I'm saying? You can like, you can cook a meal and start going through pages and articles. See, <laughs> that's what's up. He's legit. He's in the thing. Yeah, we, we talked about that last we week. On the net. You gotta pass that Google test yeah. if you want to consider yourself in this rap game. Definitely. And we at U of H with it too. Shout out Julie Grove. She just finally got the DJ Screw uh, uh, collection archive into it, mm. um, which uh, synopsis because it places my dad's music in there as well, and I also have music in there as well. So my dad and I. First hip hop legacy to be archived next to each other in the university. Oh, look at that. Setting. Shout out to the two ones out there. Actually, shout, shout out to everybody. But, you know, shout, shout out to the for doing it first time. Shout out. Was, was that Nisan Tier 1? I don't know. Who knows? I'm like, I'm getting jealous. I actually love Sam Houston. I just <laughs> met like a beautiful girl from Sam Houston. Ooh. She like turned my life up. I'm trying to. Turned it up. Uh, that's, yeah. that's how they make them in Sam. That's, hey, look. <laughs> what? I so you want to get into the other Yeah, let's talk about the Sega project. Man, so the second project is going to be called Okay, Whatever. <laughs> like, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it basically sums up 
how I felt right before I moved to New York and then everything that I experienced out in New York and then moving back. I just finally got the title like probably like uh, three weeks ago. And okay, well, so you brought us, is this going to be like the first single, first official yes, single? Yes, I brought something special for Trey. Oh, special. We have a girl lyric, Michelle. And yes. You got lyric, Michelle. Yo. Oh my God. First off, first off, shout out Lyric. Second, yo, y'all don't know how long I've been waiting to drop this track. I've been waiting on Lyric for like a month to do this verse. Wow, that sounds about right. Shout out to you, Lyric Michelle. That sounds about right. We finally got it done earlier this week, and I'm just wow, so excited. Right on time. Okay. Right yeah. on time. Well, let's and, and, go. Yeah, What's yeah, tonight? It's, it's called For a Visit. For a Visit. For a Visit. The Aspiring no. Me. Clean Featuring. Merch. Lyric Michelle. Clean Merch. Clean. Nice. Clean. Squeaky merch. clean. It's so clean. Because Lyric can be. She what? Be raw. I didn't even know. Raw. I had no she's idea. Very raw. She can, yeah. Yeah. She's very raw. All right, Troy Hip Hop, let's go. That's right. Aspiring me, uh, that's like super short. You know, uh, uh, if you want to catch me on Instagram, it's OK underscore whatev, W H A T E V. Uh, no profile pics, you know what I'm saying? That's the one that's me. It's no profile pics for 2015. Thank you for coming once again and uh, keep traveling because that's where it's at, man. I'm, I'm right behind you at this traveling time. So I love that yeah. you do that and we want to support you in any way. So send us all your squeaky clean edits. Yes. We'll put them on here in rotation. All right. So Sorry. everybody go ahead and support the aspiring me. You can pretty much just Google, Google that cat and it'll come up. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you for stopping by. I appreciate y'all for having you me. You got a shout out? Man, hey, yo, shout out. Um, first off, thank you, Lord, for you know providing the setting. Second, uh, shout out to uh, my fam. Uh, shout out to Vapor Trails. Shout out to Family Heat Turnley. Shout out to the OBB uh, Original Brick Boys out there in Broadgate. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take some of my homies out there. I can't take all of them at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But you know, because if I took all of them out, it'll, 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 it'll be a problem. I gotta bring, you know, like two, yeah, 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 you know, stuff like that. And then, you know, I, I gotta get them cultivated around the area in the way that they ate while out here. But yeah, um, also, uh, shout out to y'all. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, shout out to y'all. For, for, for just being cool. Shout out to my boy, Afon, aka. The realest out here. We got some tracks coming out that's okay. yo, me personally, I think 56 nights crazy. <laughs> 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 I 